Yeah? Yeah, a guy pulled a gun on me, and I was like, well, I guess I'm done here. I'm going to just open with a question, and we'll just go from there. <laughs> oh, no, dude. You got, you got a question for me? I got a question for you right now. Yo, I feel like, I feel like this is, I feel, okay, okay. This, I feel uh, exposed right now. How? I don't know, because you, you started. What like, do you mean exposed now? Like, any, any after somebody heard. Uh, what was it, a couple weeks episode mm -hmm. where you just let it all out on the floor? Literally, that that's you. <clears throat> you've been exposed. Listen to me. That's not being exposed. To me, that's just being a, a natural human being. That's being that is being a, a free individual that has all the amendments in the constitution. You know who else comes on floors? Me, bro. Homeless people. Ah, <sighs> man. Yeah. They, they might even try to <laughs> aim a little bit too. They might see like a like a <laughs> like a. Where do they come, bro? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bro, they, I don't know if they ever do, because they're always jerking off, but I don't I've know never, if they ever nut. Dude, I've never seen a homeless man nut. I've seen him jerking off. I have, too. That's, That's like, why I felt like I was officially welcomed to L.A. I was walking to work in downtown mm. L.A. a couple years ago, and uh, you don't need a cup of coffee when you see a, a guy jerking off with a pirate patch at 8.45 a.m. No, that's an espresso shot. Yeah, that's yeah. one of those, bro. You, <laughs> heaven forbid you dodge a load like he actually does release. Yeah. You're, 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 you're like, I just... You're walking to work, like you get shot at. You're like, yes. <laughs> like, what oh. kind of gun? You're like, oh, the worst <laughs> kind of gun, <laughs> the most lethal type of gun. Um, but yeah, I think if you get hit by homeless man semen, like I feel like you may be turned into. I was a just gonna say man. it's like the werewolf effect, but you just become homeless. Yeah, yeah. I used you to could have, have BMW keys, but they just disintegrate into like a, a car <laughs> an AM PM yeah. hot dog. Yeah. Like, Where the fuck? <laughs> Um, um, all right, but yeah, you started just you would like I, I don't know when someone says I need to ask you a question, it always yeah. feels. Like it always feels like I fucked up. That's what it more feels like. I feel, like, I feel like you. Do you have something that you think I know that I don't know? Now, because you know, because you know, when your girls like, can we talk? You automatically I, think about the course. time you cheated three years ago, and, and you, she's just like, yeah. oh, I was just gonna see if we could maybe put like an AC unit in the room, but it's gonna drive up the energy bill. And you're like, yeah, that's what I thought yeah. that you were gonna say. Yeah, I thought it is <laughs> hot in here. That's I thought, why I have you around. Wow, I thought uh. you were gonna bring up that thong you found in the back of my gym bag last week. But I was wearing that thong to the gym. It's not even another girl, you know? Yeah, it's 2019. I can't wear a thong to I, the gym. I feel like dudes snitch on themselves a lot on accident. But, oh, I thought oh. you were going to... You thought what? No, I just... um, I feel like... Do you think that strategy? Girls say a bold thing, like, mm -hmm. we need to talk. To right. see your reaction. And right. then be like, oh, it's my grandmother's birthday on Saturday. Uh, but yes. 100%, because, 100%. They, because if you're like, yeah, what's up? They're like, he's cool. But if you're right. like... Right, you want to talk? You want to talk right now? Yeah. Tip. If you start looking through your eyebrows, Talking. something is happening that's talk not right okay. If you the start double chin eyebrow, the double chin right and then the octave higher. What? what, what huh? That's what I'm saying. What's up? If you play it cool and you're like, yeah, what's good? If you hit her with a what's good? What's good? You're like, oh fuck, maybe she's cheating. Oh. Like it's re reflects off of you. Now right. she's feeling guilty. Isn't that funny that when someone says I need to talk to you, you automatically look inside yourself, not like, oh, what the fuck did you do, bitch? Mm -hmm. You never think that. Right. You always say, oh, what did I do? And then that's talk? the biggest emotional twist yeah. when you're looking inside yourself to figure out what you did. And then she goes, I fucked Bradley in Burger King. And you're like, oh, Bradley's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought you were going vegetarian, you lying ass bitch. <laughs> lying bitch. Uh, I feel like girls do that. I feel like that's like a, like a tactic. You know, it's like they, they're, yeah. they're dipping their toes in the water to see if they want to dive in or not. You know, of course, that, is, like, that is a great tactic, though. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Me neither. till right now, what are you going to ask me, man? What did I do? Did I do anything? It, was, it wasn't even nothing bad. Oh, now, now, the, now the question you're going to ask me is like some... Now Your octaves like, got a little higher, though. What are you about? You cheating on me? You doing other <laughs> podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the uh, king of this thing? <laughs> yo. <laughs> uh, uh, my question was... Yeah, give it to me. Out of our generation, which yeah. artist which artist's music do you think the most people fuck to? Which artist do you Ooh. think is, is has the most kids per song ratio? Wow. I was listening to some T-Pain on the way up here, and I was like... People made, still to this day, make babies to T Pain's music. T Pain's good. That's a good. Great. That's a. <clears throat> that's a good one because that's very universal. Because you have to think yeah. of a universal person. Yeah. I mean, dude, this is might be an easy kind of maybe ish corny answer. I, maybe it's Drake, but he didn't. He came out too soon though. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. 
But he. Had, but Drake is weird because if you put Drake on shuffle, one minute you're like sweet talking and loving, then the next you're just fucking like just like shadow boxing while you're fucking, <laughs> you know? Because if the wrong song comes on, it's like hyphy Drake, like the whole album he did with Future. That's not fucking right. music. That's like I'm right. trying to fucking get out of jail and you're just penetrating the ground with your dick trying to make a tunnel. Right. Drake's right. like very. I feel like with T Pain, it's like you're always gonna get something you might be able to. He does have a song about Dan Bilzerian, so that might be weird to nut to, but. Not, I mean, no, not really. I think, yeah. I mean, I, I, Dan, but, dude, how many times do you think Dan Brosnan came? I mean, it is he. He is literally a modern day king. He's oh. a modern day king. Oh, bro, all he's missing is like a couple leaves on his forehead, and he would just be a Roman god. What is what is he? What is his daily life like? What? How do you? You just wake up and he has like sixteen women in the bed. I've I've heard so many things. Do you know what's crazy? Um, hey, you can probably talk about this. That's why I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. I don't. But some girl showed me on her phone <laughs> that when you go to his parties, he has his own app. And it's like a passport. What? Swear to God, check this out. So, like, it's like an app. So, like, and it's like a timestamp. It's like a passport. But it's like, like, when you go there, I don't know what the fuck if he just, like, lays his dick on the screen. What? Or what, like, presses it. But, like, there's, like, a, like a digital stamp. And it shows you, like, what party you went to, the date and time, which I think is for, like, legal reasons or some shit. But it's also kind of sick. But it's also kind of a flex. Right. Oh no! So so it's like a it, it's just Passport. like a oh I get what you're saying. So you you so okay I get it. So it's a stamp like essentially a digital stamp on your phone to be like oh you went to a party January 11th at 9 p.m. Yeah, blah, blah, I blah. think girls use it as a flex. I think he uses it more of like a I don't know. I mean, you can keep track of like who is coming and going. Yeah, I don't know, but that's like crazy. Like that's, the most advanced party I've been to, they're like here's a wristband and a wristband. And like that was like the big thing in like uh or or in uh, high school they used to do this for parties. It'd be like you would get a red cup at the front door. It'd be like you had twenty bucks yes. to get in and you get one red cup. Yeah. That was your cup for the night. That was a cup for the night because it was free alcohol, but you had to pay twenty up front. And then like the broke friends would be like, No, I'm not drinking tonight. Then they walk inside and just steal the first red cup they see. Of and you're like course. Do the Why of, did I do that? Of course. But the amount of red cups that I just stole off a pong table when That's people, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Are they dirty? Yes. Like, you see my wa- has anybody seen the water cup to wash the balls? Like, no, nah, man. I, no, you, you, have, you have a just... pubic hair and a piece of dust <laughs> on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> you spit out the pink mamba. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. What are you? Um, that, that's like the most. That was like pretty intense. And the girl showed it to me in a flexing way. She wasn't like, oh, wow. documented. She was like, well, sh- here's the thing. I don't know if I've talked about this on this podcast before, but what I've noticed is a lot of uh, girls in LA, they are on a first name basis with a lot of people, right? Like, the, in a mean? sense, like, uh, a friend of mine is from uh, where, where the fuck she from? I don't know, but somehow she knows Post Malone's manager. Okay. And I said something about Post. And I was like, Oh yeah, Post Malone. Yeah. And she goes, You mean Austin? I was like, What? Austin Post. That's that's his name. I'm like, his Yeah, name- but nobody's calling Future Nevadius. You know, Future's full name is Nevadius. 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 Yeah. Like if I was like, Hey, you going to that Future concert? I'm not going to Nevadius' little event tonight. I'm busy. Nevadius? Nevadius. It's Navy White. It's like, it's like how you spell it. I'm not going to do anything uh, smart on here, but it's, it's like it's like Navy v Diaz. <laughs> I just spelled it out, which is even worse. Um, no, Nevadius is his name. Nevadius. Neva- I, mean, I don't. Rappers have trash names. Trash. Terrible. Why are all rappers small? All rappers are little? They are a lot. How come they, there's no medium, medium Jake? There's no medium Jakes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always it's, it's little one or the other, or, or huge, like six or big. foot five, you know? Yeah, little um, or big. There's no medium. It'd be weird if he was like 5'11". F- f- 5'11", eleven. Five eleven, you can't be a rapper. I'd be like, get in a wheelchair. Well, because 5'11". Chop the legs. Well, here's the, thing. <laughs> here's the thing. I think because if you're really short, you always got to prove yourself in the hood. You got to be like, I'm good at rapping. And I feel like short people are more short-winded, so they like rap fast to get all the words out quicker. Like, like the taller rappers aren't the fast rappers. Like gotta, Snoop is tall, and that's why he's like talking so slow. It's because it takes a while for the air to get through his diaphragm. Yeah, the words are coming from the belly. Yeah, but the little long. rappers always be like, because that's just a word. Yeah, they rap like Uzis. Exactly, little Uzi. Have you seen? He is a tiny man, oh, dude. All of them, all of them, all the littles. They're not lying to you. Oh, bro. they're not like, oh, I'm little. I'm five eleven. No, no, no. They're little. Uh, dude, to man. be a bodyguard, you just have to be like a JV wrestler, and like, yeah, that works. You're like what, five foot nine? Sure, you're taller than the rapper. That's cool. I, I could, I could be a bodyguard for. I, I saw this recently. Uh, yeah, few, speaking of future, actually, his body. What are you talking about? Avarius? Nevarius? Nevarius? <laughs> uh, just take. I feel like he became a rapper because he just got tired of like substitute teachers being like, oh, this is a tricky one here. Uh, Neve? Navy? Uh, Navy? And he's like, fuck, this one become a rapper. And they're like, okay. And then, like, oh. And, they, and then the teacher goes, when? He goes, in the future. And he goes, 
Yo. Everybody looks like dog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do you? How, how do you? Some people have such like ridiculous names, but they're so big you don't think about how ridiculous their names are. His name is Little Uzi. Let me tell you something, bro. Do you know if the you explanation Uzi, for it? Huh? Do you know the expression for Little Uzi Vert? I, he like broke it down on on the interview. It's give it to not, me. It's it's exactly what you think it was. It's like it's, it's it might as well have been like on a rap generator. It's because he's little. He raps fast like an Uzi, and vertical is like going up. Like he's like, oh, I'm gonna be next up. Like that's like literally what it means. Like a little guy raps yeah. fast on the way up. Little Uzi Vert, but his name is so ridiculous. You're like, yeah, it's Little Uzi. If you just repeat a thing so many times, right, it just becomes saying. normal. Right. I mean, like you, you know what two chains used to go by? Three chains. <laughs> Downgraded. <laughs> no, do you know what he actually used to go by? I I, I do because when he was part of that group, I can't remember though. What, Three was Six Mafia, right? I think, or I forget. No, no, no. no. It was it was it was it was no. I know. Sorry. Yeah, uh, Titty Boy. Yes, he, he was used to go by Titty Boy. Why did he fuck titties or he had Probably. man titties? You know he's, what I mean? He's a tall dude, so I feel like he tall people generally don't have man boobs. What if he had smaller boobs, but he lactated? So titty boy. All his, all his friends are like, yo, you got titties. You are in a boy. You lactating, bitch, titty boy. It's just such a funny, like, um, I don't know. I feel like at this point, like, record labels are used to this crazy-ass names. Do you think they ever adjust the names? Someone guy goes, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm small Pepsi can. I was like, hold on. The, <laughs> you can't be small Pepsi can. Bro, I've heard the most ridiculous names out there, man. There's some fucking gnarly rap names. But at this day and age, it's like, yeah, sure, why not? What would be your rap name? Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, fuck? <laughs> that's pretty, probably. That's pretty dope. Probably, actually. Oh, fuck. You yeah. Know? Oh, fuck. I would just want something that's catchy that people can yell right before the beat drops. That's all that really matters. Oh, like, fuck is pretty oh, good. Fuck. Man. Probably, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How would you spell fuck? Though? I would probably spell it like A W F U C C. C C. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Because you still want like thirteen year olds to be like, Mom, I want this new merch and she's like, Off there's no way that's how he he's probably trying to be edgy. There's no way it's off oh, fuck. She watches a YouTube video. Oh fuck. It's like, <laughs> God damn it. If there's no space in between the all and the fuck, it's just off oh, fuck. Did I ever tell you that I my cousin told me growing up that if you a way to get away with cussing when you're younger is if you put a three second gap in the word and it didn't count? He told me this when I was very, very young. Okay, give it to me. So I'd be like, and so like if you wanted to say on the playground, if you wanted to cuss at your parents, instead yeah. of saying fuck, you'd be like <laughs> true true shit would you do mississippi uh i might do it. i think i did apples like ah f- one apple two apple three apple <laughs> you dumb bitch <laughs> i think that's where it because pl- you know how plies the rapper always says bitch yeah i think he's just doing that but he just forgot to say it i the think, other half you know what What's i up, think bitch you know what i think all that does i think they're all <clears throat> they're all super cool and there's something about cool that makes things heavy Everything's heavy, so you gotta shorten things. You gotta walk slow. Your clothes gotta drip. Yeah. Everything's heavy, so you can't say fuck. You gotta say ah oh, fuck. fuck. Oh, yeah, fuck. I think so. I was literally just a rapper in like second grade, but I thought that yeah. shit worked. And like I remember like using it on the playground, thinking I was like badass. Like I had a cheat code or something. That's so funny. Calling a girl a bitch, I'd be like, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my pudding pack back. <laughs> How dare you step on my go gurt? Your fucking pudding pack? I was not a big kid. Anybody could take my pudding pack back in the day. Were you super small as a kid? Actually, I was more fat as a kid. You were a fat kid? Not a, not a pretty kid. Like oh, you know, you know how people post like those mean? like like if I posted a Throwback Thursday, people would be like, "Oh, damn, Trev actually looks decent these days." You know, like I I'd gap teeth, oh. my freckles were more out here. I had more red hair, and I look and I was a little pudgy cheek. Yeah, I looked like you know the kid from Up. Yeah. If the kid from Up was like a daywalker. Wow, not good. So you look like that 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 kid from Sandlot, the catcher from yes, Sandlot. Yes, yes. You were that fat. Mm, Your body nah. looks like it was made of croissants. Nah, <laughs> I do love a good croissant. <laughs> uh, who doesn't love a croissant? If you tell me you don't love a croissant, I'll fight you. I'll fight. Who? Croissants are just like sexy ass bread. You know, like out of all things, bread could Dog. be out of all things you could turn a carb into. Okay. Why wouldn't it be a croissant? A croissant or donut? But what a cr- yeah. what is that? Cronut. 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 Dog. <laughs> Cronuts Let me are tell you crazy. Something. Let me tell you something. If you bite a cronut and you don't ejaculate, kill yourself. That's what it really is. It's it's like it's 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 wheat semen, really. It's gluten nut. That's all it is. Yeah. That's what they put on top of it to make like, it glisten. You ever go somewhere like a sandwich or like, uh, do you want to upgrade your bread to a croissant for free? You're like, yeah. Don't even ask me. <laughs> don't even ask me. If you fu- 
I'm angry that you asked. That's like going to a, uh, like a rental car at the airport and like, well, we have a Toyota Corolla or this M3, and you already <laughs> know where I'm going with. You bro. Going, is it used? Yeah, that used M3 life, baby. Um, yeah, man, I, croissants are great. Those are those are heavily. Dude, my girl things. and I have been fucking with donuts, dude. Not fucking with not. I don't either. know where you're going with that. That sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. Because that sentence could have stopped at any point. My yeah. girl and I have been fucking. Yo, with donuts, you with, said with donuts. With the, we've been we've been eating a lot of donuts. Yeah, because uh, uh, she has SK Donuts right by her. SK Donuts. I don't know if you ever eaten that man. It's is it SK or DK? SK. SK. SK I've Donuts. Heard of it. It's phenomenal. They have this donut that's uh, uh oh man uh, Nutella. Uh, ooh. Oh, bro, <laughs> bro, bro. Nutella, Nutella is like fake ass and fake titties for a donut. It's like you put a Whoa. fake rack on that donut for. A Nutella donut. That's crazy. Think about this. Think about a glazed donut that's warmed up, that's cut in half. Then you put right. Nutella in between. You put the top on. Then right. you just dribble Nutella on top. Damn. Go is that, is, fuck is, is, is it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Eat the donut. Oh, fuck. Is it not too much? No. You think it would be. It's not. Yeah? It's not. They put the is, right amount. Is it like a healthy type donut? Or nah. they're, they're, they're just like, nah, we nah. out here? No. Nah, let me Diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes. 100% diabetes. God damn. So your rapper name would be all fuck? Oh, fuck. Yeah. What are you going with? Too fine blouse. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but dude, who, who? Oh, I know a rapper who literally used his AOL name and no. used it. it was, I've told you about this guy before. I don't think so. Wap Dad Four Thousand. That's <laughs> literally that that's, so that's literally his rapper name, and he's like a successful rapper. Is it? I'm sorry. Wap that. Guap Dad. Guap Dad. Four thousand. How that old was is his he? AOL name? How old is he? I think he's like 21, 22. So when he was a kid, he put Guap Dad? Yeah. He was ahead of the times. Dad? Yeah. Nobody's calling himself dads. Do you call yourself a dad? No. Who? Daddy? I'm I, I could have daddy. a child and I still won't even call myself dad. I'll, I'll, no. <laughs> call me Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Telling your Can son you to imagine? call you by your first name <laughs> is so confusing. It is. Everybody's like, <laughs> is that your dad? No, that's Trevor. <laughs> is that your older brother? No, I Trevor. don't know. That's Trevor. That's Trevor. They have no concept of what it is. Your dad. Wait. <laughs> I your, think your Kevin's name is Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they would. They would. They would have a lot of questions for you. Yeah. You know, calling I mean? an adult by their first name is such a power move as like a child. Oh, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I still to this day kind of can't do it. it. It makes me uncomfortable inside. Have you? Do you call? You never called your parents by their names, right? No. Yeah. When I hear people that are around our age calling their parents by, like Mary, I'm like, uh -huh. what in the fuck? Do my girl calls? Her mom, Mary. But she's not from here. Isn't that like a foreign thing? I don't. Maybe. But I mean, you you know, like Americans are called their call their uh, yeah parents by. The but name. I feel like they're it's like weird. Yeah, I'm calling a stepdad by his first name for sure. I might even call us by his middle name. I'm just calling to show him. You know yeah. who the fuck is boss around this two bedroom? You know. Yeah, I'll fuck you up, Mark. You piece of shit. <laughs> that, that stepdad thing is weird as fuck, dude. Because they come in and move in your house. Yeah. And then they look at you like I'm fucking your mom, dude. Stepdad That's... is the ultimate underdog. Like, best case scenario, the kid have already has already moved out. But like, right. If you get in when the kid's like 13, you're not winning that kid over. Dude, I had a step. I had a stepdad. I had a stepdad. Yeah. yeah married my mom. Mm -hmm. Then they got a house. And then I we all moved in the house. He had other kids. He, oh, he then he yeah. then he had like he had my mom pregnant so he's looking at me like and I made another one, <sighs> you know what I mean? Yeah, because then that's hard because then you got like your quote unquote like new family and then you yeah. got a real family you know popping out right and that that's the what that's the signature on the contract right there. Dude, just, just a bunch of strangers walking around. Yeah, who are you? I feel like that's it's just like a giant NBA trade and you're like <laughs> that's I hilarious. Didn't. <laughs> Like, I didn't want to be in this city, yeah. uh, but here I am. Yeah. The contracts kind of fucked me over. For, so I'm here for the next five years. I'm so playing for out. the Houston Rockets, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude. That's so shitty. And looking at me, trying to, like, tell me to, like, eat my vegetables. Hey, right. Mark. Because, you know, because I, I feel like the uh, the uh, OG, like, the mom, like, your yeah. mom was yeah. tapping. I'm like, tell him. Say it. Say it. Of course. Because he's like, today, I'm going to put that in the authority. Tell him. It's like, no dessert until the broccoli's done. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> If you stutter on that, you're like, no dessert. <clears throat> He's like, did you just fucking stutter? You can't. If you're given some type of threat and you stutter or your or your throat, you ever remember when you were a kid and your and your voice would crack 
in like the when you're reading it when, oh. when the teacher's like uh oh, michael can you stand up and read oh those. my god dude you're sitting there and you're like um okay you're reading Macbeth. you don't even know how to read it you're like tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow everyone is dying laughing yeah why is that so funny because it's, it's cause, immaturity anything that's not normal is funny it's hilarious dude yeah yeah i mean your voice is cracking you're a bitch that was the worst dude if you called me a bitch or a pussy as a kid you could make me do anything if you're like, man, suck that dude's dick. I'm like, I'm good, man. Dude, I like, never really. Yeah, you're a pussy. I'm like, nah, give me your dick. <laughs> like, just quickly switch. I never really went through that voice crack phase. Because your voice is still really high. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's yeah. True. Your voice no, is actually way You know what's weird mind. is like there's one kid named uh, Connor. And, uh, Connor. He, he, he was one of those guys that had a first name for his. He had a double first name. So like his, first, his last name was also like a first name. One of those. And I just don't want to say it. Cause you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Connor. But he had this really high pitch voice. And then he went through like three years of like, huh, huh, like cracks oh, and cracks, no. like yeah. notorious. And then I bumped into him like a couple years ago. And this motherfucker had a deep voice. Really? It was like all the cracks were like chiseling away. And then it's like deep. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Dude, do you, but let me ask you this. Do you think that he is making his voice like that? Because he's so scarred as a kid. Because if you maybe if you called him at three in the morning and he picked up, he's like, "Hi, how are you?" Like he still yeah. has that voice. But I don't he know. Drops but, it. But uh, it was it was like it was like he almost talks more now because he wants people to hear it. Oh, it's oh, it's, it's like, like he hangs it's out. silky, silky smooth. It's good. Oh man, it's like that you could put fun. him at any time slot on the radio and he'd crush. Just do mur- you remember that homeless dude that had that amazing voice that used to be a radio guy and then they like. They found there was oh, like yeah. a video. Remember that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's back on crack probably. Oh yeah, man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> so you, your voice never did that. Your voice never like went up and never. I would it would crack a few, but like sometimes Just some gradually. people. Yeah, there's still some adults that have like voice cracks. That's gotta suck, dude. My buddy, uh, he's trying might... to fire somebody. <laughs> so you know, uh, we really appreciate all your hard work. <clears throat> <laughs> hard. <clears throat> <laughs> You just point to the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, dude. No. Fire me like a fucking man. I'm trying to. <laughs> He's sign languaging it out. He just, just writing on the he board. Writes it on the whiteboard. Yeah. yeah, you're fired. You erase it. What? You got something to say? You ever been fired? Uh, no. You've never been fired? No. Wow, I've been fired from every job I've ever had. Really? Oh, man. Every job. Every single job I've been fired. Has it ever been cool? No. It, I mean, well, one time I was working at a golf course, and I, uh, your boy stole so much money from that fucking <laughs> golf course. Oh, my gosh. I, oh, my gosh. I don't know how much money I stole. Dude, every single day at, like, six or seven, they would do, like, this bank drop, right? So they'd have all the cash from golf the golf course? Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, everybody pays with cash. Of course. Golf course yeah. Everyone's trying to flex on the golf course, right? So there's a big... Uh, um, like zip thing, like a pouch with all the with all the cash for the drop, and they would drop it at six or seven. So I would come in, sneak in when one of the pros are like off taking a poop or whatever, and I would take like, like you know, fifty, hundred dollars every single time. And every day I worked. Really? Yeah. And nobody. I mean, they eventually fired me on some dumb shit, but like, I but, but it I, wasn't because of that. Nope. Nope, but at some point they fired me and I go, listen, you can, I mean, I stole, I, st- I, you know, I got, I, I'm good. I could open up my own golf course yeah, for the amount of money good. I have. A little bit of a driving range. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's uh. What, so, what did you end up getting fired for? They, because uh, I let people on uh, to play for free. Oh, because I was a cart dude. Yeah. So when people came up with a golf club, my friends would come with golf clubs, and yeah. I would just put them on the cart and be like, "Oh, go ahead." Yeah. There's really like, no way to tell. Yeah. There's no way to tell. Mm-hmm. There's no way to tell. But I definitely got fired. I also got fired from uh, selling drugs. Yeah. Yeah. A guy pulled a gun on me, and I was like, "Well, I guess I'm done here." Did you get fired? Or did you put in your two weeks? Oh, I Putting put in my two, two weeks, weeks is hilarious. Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like selling weed. <laughs> hey guys, uh, May first is gonna be my last day flipping <laughs> yeah. that dope. Uh, I got a great opportunity down at the Subaru dealership, and I uh, just want to let you guys know. Get the deals while they're hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Did I ever tell that story? The gun. Oh yeah. Is, don't you have a stand-up bit about it? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I heard it there, but now I don't think you told it on here. Yeah, dude. I was selling drugs and uh, in it's weed. Maybe, yeah, it was just weed. I was selling drugs in in uh, in DC, and I had like uh, maybe I told the story. It doesn't matter, but uh, um, but yeah, I had like two. <laughs> you just you just fucking gave the middle finger to, to the YouTube reruns, viewers. baby. <laughs> um, we talk so much in this podcast. I don't know if I don't know what we've yeah. told or not. It doesn't matter. So I was selling drugs in DC, and uh, I was going to college in South Carolina. So I went to DC, 
and picked up like a bunch of weed and uh and my buddy from high school was originally from DC hit me up and was like, Hey man, I like to buy a little bit, whatever. So I went to his place and I didn't I had a lot I had like two or three pounds in my trunk and Jesus. I didn't I know and I didn't like split it up yet. I didn't mm. like weigh it out and put it in a separate like ounce baggie. So it was just out there. Uh, but he was my huh. boy. So I just opened the trunk and just gave him an eighth. And so he saw it all. And then like two hours later, he called me and he's like, hey, man, uh, my cousin wants an ounce. Can you sell it to him? And I was like, all right, man, I don't really know your cousin, but you're vouching for him. So it's totally fine. So I met his cousin. This was I mean, I was dumb and very young. There's a bunch of holes in this story that like I should have been like, nah, I'm good. Oh, that's every drug deal. Of course. So he calls me. He goes, hey, man, meet me in a dark park. I mean, bro. (laughs) Your boy says you if you if you get a call and he says meet me in a dark anything yeah. don't go oh yeah you put don't that in the go? Google Translate it's like yo ass getting robbed <laughs> it's just a dark park dark park so I met him there and I had two of my friends in the back seat and uh, that's and, like backup yeah it's a roll with me because I felt a little uncomfortable but I still yeah. wanted to get the ounce sold so I was in the driver's seat and the dude sat in the passenger seat the guy was buying the drugs. And, uh, and then he handed me the, the money, but it was like, it was like, whatever, 360, he handed me 400. So I was, I was giving him $40 and change and he takes out a gun and puts it like to my side. And he was like, yo, give me the rest of the shit in your trunk. And I don't know why I wasn't that scared, but I was like, oh man, I don't have anything else. Like I, so, I sold it all. It's done. And he goes, motherfucker, give me all shit. I was like, dude, I, I swear to God, I don't, I was like, you can look in the trunk. I don't have anything. And then he's like, oh, fuck. And I, this is definitely the first time he ever robbed someone because he was so nervous. I was going to say, He was, yeah. like, sweating. You don't expect it to backfire. Right, 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 right. Nobody with a gun has a plan B. There's no plan They're B. They're like, this is going to work. And then it doesn't. They're like, guys, anybody got any, uh, <laughs> he's just, he's <laughs> you want to like, brainstorm real quick? <laughs> like, no, they're not going to be like, ah, oh, well, if he has a gun, then I'll fucking, you know, call, you know. Yeah. That, that is their only plan. That's it. That's it. You have yeah. a gun, you have, like, supreme, like, that. that, that, that is, that's it. That's like a lion in your pocket. Yeah, you're not thinking outside that. No, that's it. So, he, so I go, I don't have it, blah, blah, blah. So he goes, oh, fuck. And then he just leaves with the with the ounce. Mm-hmm. But where the funny comes in is he didn't, I didn't give him his change back. So, wait, 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 wait. He yeah, yeah. bought it? Bro, but this is a funny. So Did I, I miss something? So he gave me 400 I was counting $40 of change out. Then he takes the gun out and he's giving me all the shit. I said, I don't was have it. Was he white? No, no, no. I was going to say, like... I, I told that story about stealing alcohol on here yeah, where I yeah, like yeah, went yeah. to the register mm-hmm. after and like paid for a Gatorade because right. I felt bad. I feel right. like that's what kind of what he did. Um, this He's is, like, let me pull out the money so it's not too sketchy in this yeah. dark park. It's like, I know. what? I know. I mean, he, he, he <laughs> he's just counting Monopoly money. You're like, is this? <laughs> this should be a real one in here somewhere. Is this a Buffalo nickel? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> $10 bill. Are you sure you don't want to keep this? This is like worth something, you know? <laughs> so, so he grabbed the ounce and just dipped. He didn't take his money back. How much is an ounce? It was three, four, three forty at the time. Probably I don't know what it so is. So you made money. That's what I'm saying to you, bro. I made. He tried to. The bit is he tried to rob me, but he ended up tipping me. This motherfucker left with the drugs. So essentially, he bought the drugs just very aggressively. And then I just I I, I then I saw, I was dying laughing and my two friends in the back were scared as fuck to go. Dude, why are you laughing? I go, yo, I made forty dollars. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> buy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go buy a gun. Wow. And, yeah, and I never saw him again. And I called my buddy who bought the the eighth before, and I was like, your fucking cousin's an asshole. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like pissed, pissed. And uh, I left him like sixty fucking voicemails. I was oh, yeah. pissed. Didn't pick up right. And the last phone call I made, um, his the dude that robbed me picked up. And I go, you motherfucker, you bubba, don't do that shit again. Da, 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 trying to act all hard. And he goes, yo. I go, what? He goes, I know where you fucking live. And I go, oh, okay. <laughs> and then my voice wow. started crack. I'm sorry. And I just fucking hung up. Because yeah. he knew where I lived. And I was like, dude, I don't want to get my mom, my little brother, and my stupid stepdad Mark involved. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, even before he said that, he knew where you lived. You know, right. which is the scary part. But I didn't re- I forgot that he knew where right. I lived. Because his, because yeah, I mean, because his, his his cousin who was my friend. It was so funny if you like talk shit back. Like, well, you gonna drop off another tip, an extra forty bucks oh, for us, dude? We got groceries again in the morning, bitch. <laughs> Trader Joe's, you fuck. Yeah, but when he said that, dude, my stomach dropped, and I was like, oh, okay, you win, dude. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I was expecting him to do. Just drive the ounce back to me. Like, I don't. I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not some like some gangster. Returns. Yeah. <laughs> he comes back with a receipt. Return policy. Yeah. <laughs> That is so wild. Yeah. Dude, that's street cred, though. 
a little I remember bit. one time this happened to me. Yeah. Uh, so I was hanging out with an older friend when I was young, and I was just in, so influenced by him by everything he did. He bought like an ounce, and I think it was just selling a gram for gram. And Oof. then he kicked me like uh, a quad. What is it? Eight grams? An eighth? Yeah. No. What's an eighth it? is three point five. It was double that. So that's uh, I think it's called a quad or whatever the fuck they call it. It was like eight grams. But he's like, you can sell these like little one offs, right? Right. And this one dude called me at like it's called a quarter. I I had to quarter? get a, a yeah, quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, call me at like twelve at night, right? And he's like, I just want a gram. I'll meet you at your place. He's like, I already. And I was like, all right. I'm not thinking of anything of that, right? So yeah, yeah, I yeah. walk outside. It's me and it's him and uh, two other big dudes, very big dudes. Oh no. So I give him the gram. Yeah. Everything's cool. Keep in mind, this dude. Background story. Yeah, this guy, me. the first time I ever tried to buy weed, he ripped me off. He's like, "Oh, I'll give you twenty bucks." He's like, "Give me twenty bucks, yeah. and I'll come bring you a gram." Never saw that gram. I tried calling him. <laughs> he was here's the funniest part. He was in what? my he he was in my math class, <laughs> dude. <laughs> this this is a this is a great story. I can't I forgot about this. So this dude was in my math class. Um, <laughs> you robbed someone that's gonna be in. Hold on, hold class. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This. There's, there's a lot of moving pieces to this. Okay, so I me. knew this kid because he was in my math class. We were both the older guys in the math class because we were dumb, right? Right, right? So we were the eighth graders in like a sixth grade class. So obviously, <laughs> I'm, in- right off the rip, I'm like, this dude got weed, right? Of course. But everybody fucked with him because he was like a, a wide receiver back then, and yeah. he had hands, right? Um, well, he was killing everyone. Everyone else was in sixth grade. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so pretty much... Word on the street gets out that he's the dude if you want weed. And I was very right. curious about it. I was like, dude, I want to try this shit, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's like, give me $20. I met him at a park by my house. Daylight, not dark. Oh, okay. You're smarter than me. Met him on a Sunday. Gave him 20 bucks, And he's like, yeah, we'll be back in a couple hours. We're going to go pick it up right now. And then he just never called me back. And then I just saw him in class. And I was like, yo. What's up? What's good? And yeah. Um, I, I don't, probably didn't even say anything, but like I, he wasn't in class on like Monday, but like the next day I was like, oh, what's up? He's like, oh man, we got robbed. I was like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You so, can't, you can't double rob me. So he just jipped me on that, right? Of course. Yeah. And then like the following summer, months later as go by, uh, that happens that night where he calls me. I go outside. I give him the gram. I walk back in. They're out front of my house. It's like very laid out. Right. right. I get another call. When I get back inside, he goes, hey man. This don't look like a gram. I was like, I weighed it out and everything. <laughs> and he just goes, nah, man. I've seen my weight. This don't look like a gram. And I was like, I'll be right out. And then oh, I just no, like dude. just gave him a little bit more. But I thought going back out, I mean, luckily I didn't get my ass kicked or jumped. I just gave him some more. But like yeah. they didn't They didn't do anything? No, they I just gave him extra. And How did, was it was it really lighter than a gram? I don't know. I don't think so. Did you weigh it out in like a? I I think it was distributed to me like in eight little like oh, one offs. Oh, oh. But I mean, every time I've ever was like sold anything, I would just be like, "Is this? Ah, oh, man, well, fuck it, whatever." Oh, dude, every single time you buy something, you go, "This is not what it is." Oh yeah, dude. The amount of I sold I stole so many scales from the science department of my high school. <laughs> I probably owe them twenty thousand dollars in scales. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, so many digital scales. Because back then, the digital scale was like, holy shit, a digital scale is oh, crazy. Yeah. So I stole so you were many. El Chapo if you had a fucking scale. Bro. Bro, one of my friends used to, he, he, for whatever reason, a lot of my friends sold drugs for like a one rotation. Like they got like an ounce, sold it all, right. made $300, Never thought again. they were rich, bought like the one bottle of Captain Morgan for the party. I'm like, <laughs> aha. But my friend in his sunroof, where in between the top layer and the glass, he hit a scale up there. Yeah. And when I saw that, I was like, yo. I know. We in the mob, fam. It was just all a bunch of like Jewish white kids running around like, yeah. ee, who wants a gram? <laughs> but yeah, man, that was like wild. And then I just, that kid probably ain't doing well. He can't be doing well. No. Um, Dude, I used to hide weed so, like I used to hide. But now look at me. <laughs> yeah, you made it, bro. So that was the closest I ever got. I never got like stuck up or anything. Oh, dude, I was, I got stuck up twice. Twice. I'm just, I'm, I just, I'm stupid, dude. I'm, I'm real, I'm, I'm real stupid and I love money too much. And I just like, didn't think that anything was going to happen. Right. Even after getting stuck up, I was like, eh, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm good. So what, yeah. what, what happened the second time? Same dude. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, maybe in an even darker park. I was like, like that's man. what it was. Yeah. yeah. True, true, true. You promise not to rob me? Yeah. All right. He said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I pinky deserve. promise. <laughs> Hold your phone up to your. Hold your pinky up to your phone right now so I know it's real. 
Um, no, nah, dude, the second time, uh, I was driving <clears throat> from South Carolina to DC to pick up. And ah. then when I got down there, um, I had, I was picking up, I was picking up like, like the biggest shipment I've ever picked up, whatever. So I was like already super scared. I was by myself. I, I drove all the way down there. I was like, from South Carolina, it was like seven hours. So I was like super tired. Yeah. And then we're supposed to meet at the same house that we always met, his older brother's house. But then he calls me and switches location and his voice is cracking. I'm not even like, it, it's, it just, it feels really? weird. It feels oh, weird, yeah. right? But you're seven hours in. You're like, I fucking, I'm, look. I'm, I'm committed. I'm yeah. committed. So he switches locations and I drive to this like other weird location. It's like in a project. And I get there. I get there and I go, I go up the stairs and then I have to get through another dude. I'm like, oh, I'm here to see Jimmy. I got to get through another dude. It's just, it, the whole thing is weird. Cause normally it's just like, I go to his suburban house in Maryland. He gives it to me. I give him the money and I leave. All of a sudden I'm in a project. It's just super weird. Yeah. So I, so I walk up there and then his, his brother's just sitting there like just with a gun on the thing. And I kept all the money in the car because for, for, for some reason I'm smart. I don't know. I, I just, I, whatever. I was like, yeah. I'll keep it in the car. And he had the gun on the table and he's like, yo, where's that money? And I was like, oh, sh- dude, I got to, um, I got to, um, fucking, I got to get it. Yeah, yeah. And I just went and fucking left. Oh. Yeah. Did, <laughs> you know, it's a funny visual. Huh. It's like after you left, they're like, man, he must have parked hella far away. <laughs> you know, just, like you think that it's, it's they knew you dipped it. immediately. You think they'd send somebody with you to the car. Yeah, but dude, no one was smart, man. Nobody has plan Nobody B's. in this whole operation. There's no plan B's. I don't think no. anyone's thinking this out. I think I've done a couple, uh, you know, like three or four, like, you know, runs with them. So I think they thought I trusted them or whatever. But like it felt weird. And then there was a gun on. The, there was just a gun on the table. Right. That's not. That doesn't make me feel good. Yeah. So I'm going to leave. But they didn't send any with me. I just got my, my buddy. You drove another seven hours black. back home? Oh, fast, too. <laughs> fast. And then that was the last time I ever did it. I mean, I, you know, that's the last time I ever did it. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just like people, when you're that young, bro, you don't, when you're that young, you do stupid things. You don't think you get shot. You don't think you get killed. Like, none, none of it. You just, dude. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, I could have just gotten a day job and made that $300 in a week instead of one day. And so, yeah. I don't know. Or you could have got a job at a golf course and just stole the money like an adult. That too. <laughs> wow. You out here trapping. You straight up making these money moves, dude. It felt it felt that way. I felt like I was like doing it. But mm-hmm. I wasn't. I wasn't even making that much money. But that's the thing. is any it's Because it's in cash, I feel like. It's like you see $300 in cash and you're like in 12th grade. You're like, fuck. Oh, yeah, dude. What am I, I getting my baby girl? <laughs> Dude, I would try to flex so hard when I was when I was in college, especially freshman. I was doing that. Dude, I would make like it wasn't even. I made like six hundred bucks, like nothing right. crazy, right? right? But I would always, if I knew there was a girl coming over, I would like count it and then put it on my bed you so it looked so it looked like, like a rose lot of money. Paddles, you just have one dollar <laughs> exactly, bills. Dude. It's like did a stripper just like a snail stripper just come through here? You know what's funny is there was this kid in eighth grade. He was the first dude I saw who hustled. He was trapping. Yeah. He used to go to CVS every morning before school, would buy candy, okay, and then s- just flip it before class. He was this little ginger boy, and everybody dude. called him like a leprechaun. He would buy like a nerd's robe, and and everything was out of his backpack. He got suspended for for selling it eventually, but like really, he'd be like, yeah, yeah, because he, he's selling shit. But he would have like a nerd's robe in his backpack. He'd be like nerd's robe, and people would be like, how much? And then off the top of his head, he'd be like three dollars, and then he would just buy Skittles five, but like. Supply and demand. Yo, oh, so because if you have it, if you're, because that, that was like the first Postmates. If you're just there, yeah, because they didn't, have, they didn't sell more. candy. They didn't have candy in the vending machines. This dude's a genius. So we used to, we because we would go uh, to the same uh, CVS in the morning to get like snacks and shit beforehand too. We'd see this dude stocking up, and he would just throw it on his backpack, and everybody would meet him. And he, at one point, he had like a like a, his bigger friend as bodyguard, yeah. and like everybody would be like digging in his backpack and be like one by one, single by single. <laughs> Just imagine eighth graders, you're like, oh, they're fucking selling drugs again. And you're like, all of this for an Abba Zabba? <laughs> you <laughs> stupid motherfucker. Is that a goodies bar? You f- Yeah. Uh, but dude, that kid, he, uh, that was like, the, but like, dude, to that, that, that guy, guy. That's a guy, that guy is the CEO of Twitter right now. That guy's a oh, genius. Prob- uh, that or who knows. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but like, think about that. You, you buy like 10 candy bars. You like, he, he probably made like 10 bucks a day. Nah, probably more than that. Maybe like 15. But bro, $15 a day. But that adds up in a week. That's what I'm saying. Like in a week, he probably made like, I don't know, like 75 bucks. Like to a sixth grader. Dude, $75 to a sixth grader is $67,000. Straight up trapping. 
too. That's what's like crazy. And I remember this kid, Trent. Yeah. When you were a kid, did they make you sell candy? Like when you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. World's finest chocolate is what no. they called it back in back in my day. Now people still do that shit too. Oh yeah. I saw it li- literally last weekend. I saw it in uh, where was it? It was in like Beverly Hills area, and th- these kids are just literally. People were having brunch outside, and they were just walking up to the brunch yeah. tables, and you could tell all the people were like, I thought L.A. was nicer than this. Yeah, this <laughs> is bullshit. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. Dude, it's so funny because they don't pay you. If you really, really? think about it, no. Wait. They don't pay you. You're walking around with candy, selling it for world's finest chocolate, and you quote-unquote school. That's Girl Scout cookies, though. Or do they get paid? I don't think so, dude. It's all free labor. It's all It's all like if you if you take a step back from it, it's a racket. It's a huge racket. Yeah. It's it's child labor laws. That's, You're walking around to uh, the strangers' homes yeah. being like, hey, do you want a candy bar? And they give you money, and then you just give it all to your school. Right. What? Yeah. And they're like, hey, you want some sunglasses? You'd win like sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Or like you a sell like 35 packs, and they're just like, here's a free thing I got at an event last weekend. Yeah, here's Here a you change go. purse. You're like, I don't fucking need a change <laughs> purse. <laughs> It's yeah. it's ch- like I don't I don't know what the what the the Girl Scout. I have do. a bit about that. I ever tell you about when I saw a guy in Culver City had a sign that was like uh, Girl Scout cookies goes against child labor laws, and he was out front, oh, really? standing out front of a ch- uh, standing out front of the Girl Scouts and uh, uh, standing out front of uh, of Ralph's and Culver City. I Nobody mean, was on board. Everybody was like, "Yeah, but they're fucking Girl Scout cookies, man." But that's the thing, though. If the product they were selling was was ten percent less good than the than the Girl Scout cookies, people would people Bro, would I will start wear picketing. my fucking Nikes to a Girl Scout cookies and be like, "Yo, both of these things were made unfair." Bro, but I love both of them, dude. And they're right here. Yo, a some a Samoa. Samoan? Oh yeah, it's like, a Samoan. Oh, that's that's literally where yeah, that, that's what I talk about. Is just pretty much saying like, Girl Scout cookies can do no wrong. No wrong. They they're head honcho. A Samoan? Like you ever find out like uh, they're like, oh, gummy worms have like horse hooves in them. You're like, ah, well, maybe I could do without them. You know? No. But they can t- put whatever in and a and and a uh, yeah the what the the, the tagalongs all the Bro, all those. You tell me there's a there's there's ground up Timberland boot in a Samoan. Oh, that's I'm the peanut butter. Eating it. Oh yeah. I'm still eating it, bro. You can, that's that's the way I feel about good food in general. Mm-hmm. Like you can tell me they're like, oh man, in this soup there's pubes. If it's good soup, I'm still eating it. Well, that's how people are with the LA street tacos. They're like, you trust that street meat? I was like, it sounds dope. Off the street meat, it rhymes. Sounds bro. like it's gonna stick me up, dog. Like anything, that shit sounds hard. Like, anything that rhymes, I'm in. Oh if yeah. If you can rhyme a slogan, bro, I'll buy that shit. You, you tried that feet meat? What is that? I don't know. I want it. It's made with. You know how they Horse make hooves. You know how they make wine? They just stamp on the grapes. Same feet. shit, but with feet chicken. Meat. But that's how they tenderize it. That's actually probably a delicacy somewhere. What? Stepping on meat to like tenderize it, because you know how like people like, take the hammer to the meat. Yeah. What is that? Tenderizing. I it? think to tenderize it. Yeah. Yo. I, I think they do it. Their, the their more feet. we do this podcast, the more I realize that we don't know anything. That or we know too much. I think I'm gonna go with that <laughs> one. <laughs> you wanna get into some questions, bro? Let's do it, man. <laughs> Yo. Oh man. Oh, uh, my laptop today. Okay. Bro, I got look the laptop's over there, but I thought yeah. like this is more efficient. It is. And I I brought the laptop because I thought we were gonna be googling shit, but then you know episode ten I realized we're not googling shit. Yeah. So I just kind of kept it on my lap just in case, but we don't Google anything. It keeps it fun, you know? And then somebody, hopefully somebody cites us in like their like, you know, biography or like their book report and they're like, according to Stiff Socks podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no one no one is fucking quoting this podcast. Bro, the inter- I- I'm up to six people getting the Ain't No Laws tattoo on them so far. Pe- six? Six. So I'm saying like people, you think people won't do it? People will do it. You know why they're doing it? It rhymes, bro. That's true. Dog, I'm, we if we learn anything from this podcast so far, if you make that shit rhyme, people are in. Yeah. Uh, you won't hurt if you put us in your book report. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, can we, can we cut that part out? Uh, Gabe, keep that in, please. Man, herpes aren't bad. Man, give me a. It, they're glad. People are fine with herpes. Gabe, let's cut that out. All right, yeah, both of those. Uh, yo, you ever? Gabe's like, y'all you later in your fucking rent. I'm keeping both those in. You ever have? You ever? You ever try to just riff and you're like, I got it in your head. You're like, I got it. I'll just say some things that'll come. And out you're right. looking and at your brain like, ah. <laughs> Brain's like, fuck. I'm tired, man. Well, I couldn't rhyme bad. That's bad. That's I thought bad. you were going to say sad. That's fine. But I was trying to big up. I was trying to big up herpes. So people are fine with getting herpes. Do you got herpes? Nah, fam. <laughs> All right. You ready to get into it, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm sweating. All right, man. Titling this episode is going to be a lot of fun. I'll tell you that much. We've, ta- we've covered a lot of ground. We've covered so much, dude. Yeah. 
But let's, let's, let's you see what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was just going to do a little recap. I was gonna, let's get into some... Uh, some uh, sock, sock talk. talk. What are we uh, talking about? All right, let me tell you. Uh, this is from uh, TC underscore SKA Hill. Sky Hill, I guess. Um, all right. Would you rather have your search history of the last year become public or not have the internet for a year? Public. Public. 100%. I got yeah. nothing. I got nothing to hide. I'm not an insane person. Like, what? What's the craziest thing in your history that you'd be um, like mildly? Because I would be more about? concerned about somebody who did the opposite, and they're like, "Why don't you have internet for a year?" <laughs> what? What do you mean? I like kids. <laughs> yeah, that's because the, you, then you had something so crazy to hide that people would be like, "Yo, this motherfucker." Then, then after you got internet back after yeah. that one year, they would just break into your house to see what the fuck crazy stuff you're looking at. I mean, but like, him. that's what I'm saying. What What stuff in in your history? Would like make you choose the one shutting your internet down for a year. I think porn is in such a weird place right now that yeah. it's almost expected to be like like something weird. Nobody watches like normal porn anymore. Who would type in normal porn? Normal porn is like stepbrother comes home and finds dad fucking his nurse's yeah. step And then I read that and I go, step it up. Yeah, you're like, yeah, okay. Fucking well, virgin shit. 2018. Let's get some more Let's relatives some, in here. You I got need some horses. <laughs> Dude, you know what I'm into recently? I'm into like amateur, like real amateur porn, like that real shit. Like, like they don't even know how to turn a camera on. Dog, type it's shit. all shaky. It's from like a Nokia phone. It's just bad. I want to, you know what I mean? It, it is a little more interesting. It, it it makes it feel more. It's like you're FaceTiming them. Almost. Yeah, oh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, dude. If I can see if everything is in frame, it's not real. I need yeah. I need heads to be cut. All like you know what I mean? I need, I also, I need to look bad. I also like the amateur shit because it's like it's a real setting. It's it's a real couch. It's a real bedroom they set up because in it's normal authentic, porn, bro. it's always like just one random ass couch, giant mansion, always has an echo to Huge it. Huge dong. I don't need to be. I don't need to feel bad about myself. Give me an amateur, average dong. Yeah, yeah, amateurs, amateurs, the full way around from the phone they use to the the dick they use. Yeah, like, and they come fast. I don't. Don't make me feel bad. I don't want to put on porn, gigantic penis, the dude's going for 45 minutes. I need amateur porn where the dude is five and a half at most, and yeah. he's coming in 10 minutes. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. I like it. It makes it makes me, but it does. It makes me feel, sometimes I trick myself and, and I go, oh, she sent me that. You know what I mean? There you go. She sent me that. Yeah. I look at the Snapchat amateur stuff a lot. There too. you go. And also, if you do something better than any of them, you're a novice. Dude, you ever try to beat them in coming? Every time. <laughs> what am I gonna let him come and be like still going? No credits are rolling, and I'm like, you don't impress me. That that's I, I don't do care that. who the AD on this was. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're both going. It's like that. Yeah, that's that's a simple answer, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, that's um, a straightforward answer. All right, ne next one we got Ethan underscore Spencer one hundred and one. Um, if you were told you were going to die in seventy two hours, how would you spend the time? Heroin. Yeah, I I'm would try going some crazy heroin shit. Heroin off jump. Heroin. Heard it's great. From who? You know people who hometown. Done Bro, people in the hometown. They will they will tell you people from your hometown will tell you two things. Where to get the best sandwich in town <laughs> and where to get the best spoons for your heroin. They're like, Oh yeah, have you have you been to the Blimpy off third? You're like, Blimpy? You mean Quiznos? <laughs> no, there's a Blimpy. <laughs> What is that? It's like a Boost Mobile if it opened up a, a sandwich shop. <laughs> um, fucking Blimpy. Have you ever eaten a Blimpy? No. It's so ridiculously average. Uh, yeah. It it's like it's like if I made you a sandwich in my kitchen. It is shocking that that's still around. Like y'all trying to hit Blimpy for lunch? It's like I'm just, gonna just eat the styrofoam cup on my desk with a little bit of coffee yeah, residue. It just sounds disgusting, Blimpy. Oh yeah. So I'm doing heroin. <laughs> I'm doing heroin off jump. Um, I'm trying to. Who would I try? Like, because the, the the question is kind of limiting because it's like it's just you dying, right? So then, because who can you fuck? Because you who? Because you have to walk fuck up anybody. Someone. No, but but you're the one dying. It's not like the world's ended in 72 hours. It's just you dying. So then you gotta like 
you gotta like get some sympathy vagina from this girl that you never fucked. You know what I mean? That's that's a hard that's that's a hard thing to finagle. You know what's so funny is like you like said that to a girl and she's like, okay, well take me to dinner first. You're like, <laughs> we are getting literally Del Taco. We are in and out of that bitch in 13 minutes. Bro, I okay? can't waste an hour and a half on right, dinner. Right, right. She's like, you gotta wine and dine me first. You're like, I have 24 <laughs> hours left. God damn it. I'm I'm robbing a bank. That shit yeah. looks so cool. I'm doing a heist. In 2019, it doesn't look cool. It's all digital. What do you mean? Banks? Do banks still have just straight cash? Bro, I'm putting on a Ronald Reagan mask with a big ass Uzi vert, and I'm I'm for, oh oh I'm killing someone by the way by the way I'm killing I'm definitely shooting a couple people. You got I mean dude if you're gonna die in 72 hours you got I want to know what it's like to fucking gas somebody. Well, what I would do is I would find somebody else who has like 30 minutes left on their meter. <laughs> right, right, right. On their parking. Um, meter. No, on their life meter. <laughs> <laughs> he can show you. I'm at my parking meter, you fuck. He's like, ah, ah, ah. So my buddy over here said you had 30 minutes left. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, man. I, uh, I would, yeah, I would rob a bank. I would do heroin. I would try to have sex with as many people. I fuck, I mean, I, man. I don't know. So you would just be a rock star for 72 hours. I would be Dan Bazarian for 72 hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd just text anybody with some sort of fame and be like, how do I live it up? Right. Oh, uh, I would, I would like, I would go to the bunny ranch mm-hmm. and buy nineteen women, just as many as I could afford, because I can max my credit cards out. I'm not paying for that. I, I'll t- I'm going into debt. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I'm spending. I'm all not of telling my- anybody. I got seventy two hours no, left. Of course not. Of course not. I'm going into seventy five thousand dollars worth of debt. I am going to the bunny ranch and I'm going to say, I would like all of the women, please, all of them. And I just want to be a king for like an hour. And I, I'll, dude, I'm coming 700 times. I'm on heroin. I got an Uzi. I got a Ronald Reagan mask on. So Lamar Odom. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar Odom is a fucking man. That, that dude. I would literally, if I had 72 hours, I would party with Lamar Odom. I would get in contact with Lamar Odom, Dan Bilzerian, and then a fucking wild card. Like maybe like. John Stockton. <laughs> To so, like Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. That's a good one. I'd go Dennis Rodman. That's a good one, dude. Uh, yeah, D Rod. Uh, yeah, that that whole squad right there. Oh, that would be. Oh my god. And then and then like, yeah. If you tell me you have seven hours, then they will live it up with you. Then oh they can yeah. Spend some, like, that's a good idea. You got to tag. Lamar's like, oh, I've been you. in this seat before. <laughs> I know what on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, I good think question. I, I would assemble. I would assemble the squad. That you send over the A team. Yeah, I, I would. I would do like two hours research, an hour marketing. <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> seventy-two hour bash. <laughs> RSVP yesterday. And you have a little code on your phone. <laughs> Stamp it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. All right. All right. Um. Let's do a couple more. This is from uh Kyle uh Terrence underscore. Uh. This is the this is the funniest thing that I read. That's why I have to say it. He goes. He goes. Y'all motherfuckers use condoms or not? <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me he's the whitest kid ever. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers use condoms? Let me, <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers Let me use read condoms. how he wrote it. Yeah, of course. And I didn't I haven't finished it. This is the top one. <laughs> How we spelt nah? <laughs> nah. Is N A W H. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I go pick. Y'all motherfuckers <laughs> use condoms or nah? Scenarios where you do. He scenarios? asked. He asked what scenarios I do. Scenarios I where I just do. fell asleep. So in scenarios like that, use condoms. Yeah, scenarios yeah. Scenarios where you do. Um. I uh. The, the I'm gonna be honest, man. The only scenarios that I do is when a girl says, "Can you put a condom on?" If a girl doesn't ask, if a girl her. doesn't ask me to put a condom on, your boy's going to raw dog. <laughs> <laughs> your boy is going salmonella in that pussy. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, Are you going all the time condoms? <laughs> you got to play it by ear. You got to, you got to, you got to read the crowd. You got to read the room. Yeah, if you have more than three tattoos, I'm putting a condom. <laughs> I'm, I'm maybe two. Maybe too. I'm putting a Ralph's bag over my. You know what I've noticed is the girls with the, the the smallest tattoos will ruin your life the most. Yeah, like yeah. a girl, she's got like a, like a, a like she's like I have three tattoos, and you're like, really? You look pretty. And then she's right. like, I have a tiny scorpion right here. I have a cupid right here, <laughs> and then I have a broken heart right here. But they're all like the size of an emoji yep. on an iPhone yeah. four. Yeah, those are the girls that'll ruin your life. Why do you think that is, dude? I don't know. Oh, you know what I think it is? Because they're trying to hide something. They want tattoos, but they want to hide. 
they want they make it small so it's hidden. Like they're like their inner turmoil is hidden, and that's scary to me. Because girls but you think they get like a sleeve. Sleep. Well, not because they're trying to hide. They they're so evil that they're trying to hide. The girls with the full sleeves are like fuck you. I'm out here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the girls that are like trying to hide behind the bushes of their turmoil, mm-hmm. that's scary. Because then you don't yeah. know till one month in. You know, it's the thing you kind of see a lot. What's up? Uh, is the under the the titty meat tattoo? I like where the, under like, the titty meat. It's a slept on area. It's I like, like it. It's, it's hot. Why is that so hot? It's, <laughs> you know when uh, <laughs> people put like uh, <laughs> bull horns on the front of their Cadillac on the yeah, hood? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. kind of what that is for me. That's like because <laughs> it's right up front. It's very well seen. Right. It's yeah. I, I think that's what that it's is. It's like truck nuts for women. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what that is. That's I, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, we got any anonymous? We got oh, any? We got. Uh, we, we got yeah, yeah. We got a socks on there. We got to wrap this jab, man. I don't know what that accent was. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Louisiana mixed with car accident. <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana. You know, have you seen Waterboy? Yeah. You're the coach? Bro, I can't understand anybody. Dude. So, oh, dude, he, that guy does stand up too. I've done a show with him before, but. Oh, um, oh, yeah. I forget his name, Blake something. But, dude, how those people talk is hilarious because they understand themselves so well to other people. Dude, there's no spaces. Uh, yeah, there's, no, no, no. Mm, there's. I, there's no spaces. But they could say something very anti-racial, but it still sounds racist. Anything oh, yeah. they say in Louisiana, I'm like, you hate a lot of people, don't yeah, you? They say I enjoy Doritos. We're like, oh, no, Doritos. And you're like, all right, man. You're you're like, Yo, could you not say that about my aunt? Okay. Yeah, you don't <laughs> She's like- been through enough. All right. <laughs> all right. Oh, God. All right. Let me let me find what I want. Some to anonymous. Um, all right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay. Friend. Oh, this is the secret sock, y'all. Friend from school broke into neighbor's dairy farm and got his dick sucked by a cow. <laughs> Yo, where are you at in your life, man? Legend. Uh, what uh, the fuck, dude? You know what's crazy about that? It's like there's multiple steps to that. Because it's not like he's like, ah, I was drunk. This yeah. was like. Um, oh, this is premeditated. I was though. just going to say premeditated. Oh, like yeah. He's like, okay, oh, he, yeah. Oh, he's in the cows. He waited until it was a full moon so he could see. He didn't have to use a flashlight on his phone to give it away. Oh, yeah. This guy has jerked off to Chick-fil-A ads all the time. This also, guy loves cows, bro. <laughs> this guy fucking loves cows, He just cows, drove dude. past the Chick-fil-A billboard one day. It's yeah. like, eat more chicken. He's like, mm. Why am I hard as shit? <laughs> <laughs> the way she writes on that billboard, though. <laughs> the way she misspells chicken. <laughs> what an X. Got me wrong. <laughs> um, I'd, yeah. This well, is, yeah. yeah. Mm. Premeditated, bro. Premeditated. That's he interesting. He breaks into a dairy. That's how much you need your dicks like by a cow. <laughs> you break into a dairy farm. You don't even wait till that bitch is open. Yeah. It's, um, it's, he does it under the moonlight. I don't know where I'm at in that one. What are you into it? No, I'm not into it. I'm just like I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I'll say it. This motherfucker breaks into a dairy farm because he needs his dick sucked so bad by by a cow, and then he goes finds the perfect one because there's a lot of dairy cows. So he already yeah. picked one out. He already went on two. This is Wednesday night. He already went Tuesday, and when it was open, and he picked his favorite one. <laughs> Becky, the cow's name was. This is the worst visual you'll ever hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He picked Becky out no, on Tuesday. No, no, no. But you know so how like. <laughs> You're supposed to put your hand in like their hair or whatever. When, <laughs> do you think he was grabbing an udder while getting a nut off, and he's just of he's 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 shooting milk out As he while shoots he's shooting, out, yeah. and it's just the circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's grabbing udder. I think he's playing with some udders while grabbing his udder. You of know, of course, dude. I think there's That's... something about, there's something sexual about an udder that he was like. I got an udder, and the friend's like, "What did you just say?" I got a titty, man. I got. And then he's like, "I gotta go." It's like we're in the middle of a poker game, and then (laughs) he just. I need milk, bro. (laughs) Uh, But Uh, here's the thing, you know, like yeah, he's not the first person to do that. Oh, a hundred percent not, dude. There's, there's, I guarantee you, there's someone that tried to marry a cow before. Yeah, dude, that happened today. That happened multiple times today. Somebody every day looks at an udder and goes, "Damn." Dude, every I mean, day someone just, gets, gets fucked by a horse, too. Well, that yeah. was like one of the first viral videos I ever saw was the dude getting rammed out by a horse. I know. That Died. Was, that was, that Died. was crazy, dude. That, do you that, think... <laughs> do you think that horse was like, Hey, 
<laughs> Come on now. <laughs> like he went back to the other female horses and was like, y'all oh, don't want this. Of course. I'll put a man to sleep with this dick <laughs> for life. You're uh, flexing. If if oh, if oh, your yeah. dick kills somebody. Oh yeah. You're playing hard to get. This mother this motherfucker went up to the went up to the female cows and goes, See biscuit who motherfucker? <laughs> Look at his dick. <laughs> Look at oh, his Jerry dick. over there made it so you couldn't walk the next day. I'll make it so you couldn't walk the next century, fam. <laughs> and that's what you about to be doing with your last seventy two hours <sighs> of being a fucking person. Also, what if the horse and him were like going out? What if they had like a relationship? And he he did it and he's like, Dexter? <laughs> <laughs> Dexter! You said harder and <laughs> We we <laughs> talked about this before we started recording. We always mention somehow to get on the topic of penis. We, we are, but with we, a name like this. Yeah, we are what you call penis connoisseurs. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Hey, man, listen. I think we, we might we be. We covered a lot of ground today. Oh, man. We we are all over the place. And good I, episode, though. Oh, man. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I, I feel good. You feel good? From getting a pistol shoved into your side to a horse cock shoved somewhere. Yeah, Dexter's dead. Man, guys, thank you so much for listening and watching, man. We really appreciate it. Go on iTunes and subscribe, rate, and review us. It really helps us out. Did you out. see that one? Somebody left a five-star review, and they said, uh, I love the podcast, but every time I listen, I feel like I lose a couple brain cells. <laughs> Today wasn't one of those because it was educational. It was. You learned how much uh, two ace of weed is. Yeah, a quarter. So go, don't go drug deal. Just go to like a medical shop or some shit. Yeah. But give us five, five stars. Five stars. Okay. Review us. Uh, guys, we love Bye. you. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, peace. Oh, fuck.